I have even some customers saying to me, oh, you are late, but it's okay because I know people with tattoos all have no future, so you all will do these food delivery riders. Really? Hi, I'm Raphael. Hi, I'm Huishan. And today we're going to play Spilly, where we will spill the tea on what it's like being a food delivery rider in Singapore. I've been working for a food delivery company for almost two years. I joined the company for the flexibility and also better earnings during the COVID-19 period. I've been doing food delivery for about uh, one year plus. I was a musician, so I kind of like lost all my jobs uh, when COVID hit us. Lah. So yeah, I started doing food delivery and got stuck to it. To start the game, each player will draw five question cards from the deck. Players will then take turns choosing a question card from their hand to ask the opponent. Players will also be given three action cards each, where they can skip, switch or spill at any point of time. For skip, you can skip the question. Switch, get your opponent to answer instead. Spill, you get to ask a follow-up question. What annoys you as a food delivery rider the most? The waiting time in restaurants, definitely. Annoying customers who doesn't know about the weather. Let's say if it's raining and they still ask us to rush. There'll be customers telling you, can you send my first? Can you please send my first? Can you send my first or not? Restaurant side is always they will tell us, cannot wait, then cancel off. Yeah. But you must think, every time we cancel, our incentives will drop. And we have to do like maybe complete 10 more rides in a row. Some even when I walk in in my delivery uniform, right, they will tell me like, oh, delivery riders are not allowed inside the restaurant. Wait outside. Some will tell us like, oh, you're sweaty, stand outside. Oh, you're wet, stand outside. I mean, we are actually customers as well. We, we can well afford the food there also. But they will just think that, you know, you all are like kind of like low life people. Go away. True or false, sometimes I feel like eating my customers' food. Lucky for me, I'm a vegetarian. So most of the time, you know, the, the very nice smelling ones are usually like the meat. So no, false for me. <laughs> Definitely true for me. If we wait too long, right, we have to dispose the food. So many times, I actually wish that customers reject the order or if it's too long or the customers uh, give a wrong address. It always happens when I'm at hotels or when you send to hospitals, especially to doctors or nurses, then they will tell you like, oh, wait 30 minutes, you are attending to a patient. Then I'm like, I can only give you five minutes, that's on the app. That's what I said to the customer. I mean, I'm not being rude, but yeah, since it's good food, I give you five minutes. Especially, if it's actually a bad food, yeah. I can wait longer, no problem. <laughs> what are the worst kind of security guards you have met before? I remember for that, I actually almost called the police. Because he told me since you're the delivery rider, tell you what, you go and buy food for me and buy cigarettes, then I'll let you in my condo. If not, I'll keep on telling the customer you're not here. So I actually waited a good half an hour for that. Every time the customer calls the security, the security will tell the customer like, oh, the rider is not here you yet. just shout in the background, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm like thinking like, what an idiot. And then finally, I think I could not take it anymore. Then I told him, say, you know what, I'm just going to call the police, let the police go and settle. I think he, was, he got so scared uh, because the customer actually came down and saw me. Yes. And I told, I gave her, I showed my app, I said, see, this is the time I've been waiting for you. I don't know what happened to the security guard, but that was the last I saw of him. Oh, thank God. Eh. What is the food order that you hate delivering the most? I hate hot liquids. Basically, hot drinks, um, hot soup. You just imagine if you order bakuti for cycling, even for riding. I mean, you have to like, you have to go up on harms, then there's trips, spinach can be a lot. The other one is, I think will be cakes. Cakes, by the time I reach the location, right, sometimes the cream is on top of the plastic itself. So we send this to, uh, cupcake, right? And it's uh, very small, they have this mini version. Those are the worst, I tell oh, you. Yes. All of us hate it. We will take it as a challenge. Every time before that, we will tell everybody, just take a photo. Okay, challenge begins, you know. And then when we reach there, we take again. How many did I flip? <laughs> What is one thing you would like to say to the worst customer you have? Don't be dumb. I have even some customers like, um, saying to me, Oh, you are late, but it's okay because I know people with tattoos all have no future, so you all will do these food delivery riders. Really? I had this guy who claims he's a cyclist as well. I mean, I accepted the order at Novena. He asked me to send at Jurong Island where he's working. And then he tells me, I'm a cyclist also. It's not far. It's okay, sir. I'll pay for a taxi. You come here and take yourself. I cycle every day. Then you cycle every day. Cycle, come here and take. What's the most 
you have earned in a month. Uh, four figure lah. <laughs> Let's go. Then can like Spin that. <laughs> the amount. One week, right? Uh, can get about two thousand plus ah. For cyclists, wouldn't be so much. One week maybe thousand four, thousand five. So he auto steal also. <laughs> but do all work every day. Ah, uh, me. Mine yes, depends. Uh, for me, usually. Six yeah. days, five days, seven if it's if it's raining. Raining, you add incentives, but yeah. What is the highest amount of tip someone has given you? Woo! It was Chinese here. I mean, I played smart. I brought two oranges. Remember, I went to this GCB. After that, the maid came up running to me. Wait, ma'am asked you to give me this. The ang pao has twenty dollars. The tip inside is fifty dollars. The other one was I remember there was this auntie that was raining. So I told her, I say, I reached her place. I asked her, say, auntie, can you help me refill my water bottle? She gave me a bag of coins. Plastic bag of coins, and she said this might not seem a lot, but it might help you out for the day. Went home and counted it. Uh, was sixty dollars. Eh. That is why I've always been doing either Novena or downtown area. I believe that's all the rich people. I need people to change need. zone. What is an industry secret that non-delivery riders would not know? The delivery fee that you see is not what we get. For example, if it's two nine nine, we don't get two nine nine only. I have friends asking me, free delivery, then what do you earn? Like we still get our money. <laughs> that is like you know the company has some uh, like, like arrangements with with this outlet or you know uh, they get commissions from the food as well. The food price is jacked up, you know. Yeah, so when you have to pay more during peak period, like let's say you have to pay maybe sometimes seven ninety, seven fifty for your delivery fee. You think we get seven ninety? We don't. We get lesser. Share with us some misconceptions people have about your profession. We are all not bad people, you know. We are not rejects from schools or rejects from other workforce industries. We are just normal human beings. That's it. It's not the lowest profession. It's like there are some people who say that oh, these are the idiots who work food delivery riders because they cannot get jobs anywhere else. It's not that we cannot get job anywhere else, or we just came out from prison or we are school rejects. It's mostly it's just for the flexibility, only. Really. Tell us your most wholesome delivery experience. I think the happiest, uh, the the most fulfilling uh, ones that I do is when I really see people excited to get my food. For example, right, even you deliver things like McDonald's, you get there, you see all the children in the house, <laughs> like very happy and like dancing around and like squealing, saying that like, the food is here. It just makes me feel like, whoa, I'm the one brought you, you know, the food. It was raining, you know, so the guy told me say. Bro, are you tired? Are you wet and tired? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not tired, but I'm wet. Yeah. So why not you just come in my place, wait for the rain to settle down a bit. He told the helper, he said, hey, get him a towel. I see him clean up. So I actually sat down at his place for a good uh, an hour or two. I think we had a couple of beers. We had food. I mean, it was a very, very nice gesture. No tips, no nothing. But at the point of time, it wasn't the tips that count. It's one of the best things ever, lah. In your opinion. Which food delivery company is the best to work for? Uh, I think both lah, both of us lah, ah, uh, from that company lah, right? Mine ah, um, mine got animal logo on. Yours uh, got animal. <laughs> mine got animal you logo. Don't bluff lah. Sender, my oh. animal can hold. Oh, okay, okay, hmm. I know. So, so that I one, think, uh, occasionally I will go to that animal. Yeah, I think that is the one of the best. When the animal takes money out of the pouch, right? Mm. Throw, right? I will go and grab. Uh. Tell us one of the most raw eyes experiences you had. Okay, I once had this um, dessert order. It's actually chendol. Uh. You order from, I think, Novena area to send to a house in somewhere in Nearby, like thirty seconds away from Chom Chom, I'm a cyclist. Must think about that. She actually scolded me, saying, "Why the ice is melted?" I mean, like, so I I remember I was so pissed off. I told her, I say, uh, "Ma'am, you take ice cube from your feet, right?" I say, "Yeah, you hold in your hand. Melt or not? Melt lah. Stupid question." I came from Novena. You think I carry fridge? Is it? And she complained to the support lah. Yeah, I remember the support <laughs> called me. Now I told the support, it's like the nicest way. I said, "No lah." He says she's calling me vulgarities, right? She said I stupid make the ice melt. Then nothing better to do. Then I take lighter and do the ice like that. Share with us some interesting requests from a client. So actually, there was this uh, friend wanted to send something to another friend, but 
didn't want to say like who uh, they are lah, like who sent it or whatever. I just asked like actually, uh, you know, I'm okay if you you want to you know like say anything else whatever. So they say really ah really ah yeah you're very on ah is it is it? Then after that they tell me to read like one whole chunk of like very funny one ah. It's like you know uh, about what your siambu whatever. Go and party you know whatever. So I actually went to the door. I actually did it. The guy was like. I remember um, there was this guy who wanted to surprise his girlfriend. Uh, he said like the girlfriend always doesn't want him to knock or ring the doorbell at night. Like, scared the parents found out. But it's a, like some secret thing like. Then he asked me to play a theme song from Ultraman. Ultraman? Ultraman got theme song man. I'm like, um, I don't know Ultraman theme song. Eh. Then I'm like, can you help me draw Ultraman on the paper bag? I'm like, yeah, I can. And do me a favor. She doesn't like her to be noisy lah. Then I'm just like, okay, and then what do I do? Ring the doorbell a lot of times and knock the door. I'm like, ah, that one not defeats the purpose of being quiet. And she said, yeah, say happy birthday from Ultraman Baby Love. I'm supposed to say that lah. Okay lah, and she knocked the door. Parents all came out. Parents, the helper came out. My god, the girl was like so embarrassed. Mm, I remember I jumped and I'm like, happy birthday from Ultraman! <laughs> I remember the mom asked me, Ultraman? Who's Ultraman? I don't know, I'm just a delivery rider. Ultraman! <laughs> I did that. Thank you for watching this episode of Spirit Ultraman! <laughs> if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! Bye-bye!